Hey y'all, this is Jared Green, and welcome to the first edition of Movie Madness with yours truly. Today, we're going to go back to the 80s, and I'm going to discuss one of the most memorable movies I've ever seen, and it goes by the name of Sleepaway Camp. It is a 1983 slasher movie starring Felissa Rose as Angela. Now, this movie is truly a cult classic, mainly because of its shocking, twisted, and super memorable ending, which in itself kind of makes up for the rest of the movie's flaws. The twist at the end is really something completely unexpected, and if you can figure it out before it happens at the end, kudos to you, because it's a tough one. It's a tough one. But if you go back and look at it again, you might be able to piece the puzzle together. But, anyways, this movie, to sum it up, basically, there's an awful, tragic thing that happens in the beginning. Um, and this girl loses her father and her brother in a terrible accident. And then she goes to live with her aunt and her cousin Ricky. And eight years after that awful event, she is sent to a sleepaway camp. I believe she's 13 at this point. Um, so she's sent there with her cousin Ricky, who kind of looks after her. Um, she's heavily bullied in the camp. Uh, she's very much an introvert, very shy, doesn't really talk to anyone. And then Ricky's friend uh, kind of develops a crush on her, and then that kind of relationship starts to can a little. Um, so, it's a very campy movie. Haha, <laughs> campy movie. It's like, like, overall the acting and the screenplay is not by any means good. It's quite god-awful, actually. Um, but what it does have going for it is it does have some pretty sweet creative kills. You know? It honestly isn't the scariest movie of all time, but, you know, it's not a Friday the, th Friday the 13th, um, where you feel your heart racing and you're like, oh man, is that dude gonna die and how's that gonna happen and watch out for Jason, whoa, Jason, uh, you know, <laughs> it doesn't really have that in this movie, um, but, since it is so bad, it is quite enjoyable for the, for the comedy. You can laugh at this whole, whole movie and be like, wow, what is going on? Why do I care? But, you know, the kills and that ending, truly superb. It is just like a great movie to show your close friends, probably at a party, the nighttime slumber party movie. It's a great, great choice. And, you know, it really just ranks high up there on the, on the list of best movie endings of all time. I think many people would agree to that. You, you feel like you really want to just snap, snapshot that ending and, like, put it as your, like, desktop background for a little bit, because I personally did that. And, you know, Keeps you awake. Keeps you awake. That's all I'm going to say about that. Anyways, uh, it's worth checking out this movie. You know what? I think I'm going to give it a solid 10 out of 16 woolly mammoth tusks. That's what I'm feeling for this movie. Really feeling that. Yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for checking this out. I hope to be posting another one soon. Just having some fun talking about some movies. Movie Madness with yours truly. Woo!